Hello chess friends, welcome to Alpha vs Grandmasters episode. Today Alpha plays bird opening against Ian and Magnus. Alpha is overrated engine. So I decided that the game should be played with time. White have 15 minutes clock time and 5 seconds bonus time. Black have only 1 minute time, if Alpha runs out of time then he will lose the game. I have a puzzle for you. Let me show the puzzle frist. This is Bobby Fischer's game. White to move and win. It is 70 to 90 IQ puzzle. You have only 3 minutes time to solve it. Solve the puzzle and comment me. And if you haven't subscribed our channel yet, subscribe the channel with a beautiful comment, like and share. So, you will never miss any latest content from us. Let's go, they starts with e4. You can play e4, c5, or, Caro can set up. But Alpha chooses to play f5. I don't prefer you to play f5, if your opponent below 70 elo points from you, then you can play broke lesser's f5 move. Just kidding. What is the strategy of this move? Well, after doing castle, open up the file for the rook. If white takes it, then play d5. Slowly building your structure, develop your pieces, no big deal. Anyway, they accept it. Knight f6. Knight f6 is necessary. You might think black could play d5 try to attack the pawn. But if d5 happen, let me show the variation. Then queen to h5 check. If you push your pawn then you will lose your rook. So, you have to move your king, position will be fall for black. So, in this position alpha played knight f6. d4. d5? Bishop, d3. Alpha played c5. You can't take the pawn. Therefore black will play e6, bishop will develop with taking the pawn. Of course black is down a pawn and little advantage, but it's not best move. They played c3, critical move. c4. Bishop c2, e6. f takes e6. Bishop, d6. Queen e2. Queen e7. Knight f3. Castle. Castle. Bishop, takes e6. In this position, Magnus wants knight g5 to targets the bishop. But alpha will play bishop d7. White have extra pawn. But black have open file. Knight g5 is not bad but not the best. Ian played better move rook e1, creating pressure on the bishop. Alpha have only 49 seconds time on his clock. So, rook e8. Knight e5. Knight c6. It's not bad move, according to me, best move was bishop f4. If you push your pawn, then you are creating a weaknesses. Bishop h5. Pinning the pawn with the bishop to create some pressure on the queen. No, it doesn't create any big advantages, it's create a little advantages. And you know what, big advantages are created with small advantages. Magnus played f4. Bishop g4. Queen e3. Queen e6. b3? c takes b3. They played a takes b3. But best move was bishop takes b3. Let me explain this. Bishop takes a3 strategy is you are creating pressure on this pawn. Bishop a3, try to exchange the dark square bishop. There is 2 versus 1. You can push your pawn to create a passed pawn after eliminating the dark square bishop. But they are not stockfish. They played a takes b3, getting open file for the rook. Bishop a3 is still possible, try to eliminate this. So, that the bishop may not interfere to stop the pawn in the future. We have have bishop f5. Bishop, takes f5. Queen takes f5. Bishop, a3. Bishop, c7. In this position, 
Ian wants queen f3. But Magnus played best move knight d2. a5. h3. a4. Ian wants rook b1, to support the pawn and target the b pawn. But my boy played g4, pushing his all the pawns. Because black have no light square bishop to targets the corner diagonal. Black have dark square bishop to targets these squares. But black can't open this diagonal because of this and also, black can't use this diagonal. Because he have no c pawn there. If there is a c pawn, then there is a possibility to open up the diagonal for the bishop. But it's not. Remember, if you have good structure with big center or space, and opponent have no corner bishop then you can play g4, black have no f pawn to fight with these pawns and kick the e5 knight. Queen g6, alpha have 29 seconds on the clock. King g2 move plan is to support these squares and the pawn. Rook can go there if needed. And you can't play g5 too early because of this. Your structure will be weak, knight is seizing these squares. What white gonna play? Well, queen d3, supporting to play f5, g5. If knight moves away then f6. Slowly pushing your pawns. We have a takes b3. Knight takes b3. Queen c8. Magnus wants queen d3. But black moves his queen, now f5 is garbage because of h5. So, knight d2. Queen e6. Knight b3. Bishop b6. Knight d2. Bishop c7. Alpha has very little time. They played queen f2, but better was to play knight f3. h6. Qf3. Knight e4. Knight takes e4. D takes e4. Rook takes e4. Bishop takes e5. D takes e5. Rook e d8. They played queen e2 but best move was rook e2. Anyway queen b3. Targeting the bishop. Queen a2. But better was to play queen c4 check. Queen takes queen, rook takes queen. Rook takes a3. Queen takes a3. Rook d2 check. They chose to play king g3, mistake. Best move was king f3. Let me show the variation, if king f3 happen. Then queen d5. Threatening to play rook d3 check. Queen takes rook. Queen a8 check. Rook e1. Rook e3. Queen d1 check. Best move is rook e4, and make the game draw. They have opportunity to draw this game by threefold repetition moves. And king g3 is not possible because of this. King h4. If king goes to g5, then g6 will be mate. So, rook g3. Queen takes pawn. And there is mate in 9 moves. But they played wrong move king g3. Queen c2. Rook e3. Rook g2 check. King h4 is not possible. Because of this. Game will be over very soon. King f3. Rook h2. Queen a2 check. Queen takes a2. Rook takes a2. Rook takes a2. Rook d3. g5. Rook d5. g takes f4. King takes f4. Rook a4 check. In this position they resigned the game. Alpha 0 wins in time. And don't forget to solve the puzzle I gave to you. Let's see how the game will be end.
Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more. Bye bye. Take care. See you in my next video.